First up, well, after Hong Kong and China now, Russia has accused the U.S. of fueling and influencing protesters in Moscow. Moscow has alleged that last Saturday protests were in Washington and backed by uh, Washington, were backed by Washington. The Russian police have forcibly detained nearly 800 people attending a protest in Moscow last Saturday. They were demanding free and fair elections. Authorities had labeled the demonstrations as illegal. Moscow summoned a representative of the U.S. Embassy today over what it said were calls to take part in the opposition protests. The, this despite the warning issued by the U.S. Embassy to stay away from the protest rallies. The U.S. and Europe have criticized Russia's crackdown on a series of protests for fair and local elections. The rallies have seen thousands arrested and police hitting demonstrators with batons. Last week, uh, the U.S. Embassy issued a demonstration alert on its website ahead of the protests on Saturday, giving the time and location of the march along with the warning to avoid the area and avoid demonstrations. These details given by the U.S. Embassy about protests prompted Moscow to point at, U at a U.S. hand in the ongoing protests. Meanwhile, while China has sent summons to senior officials from the U.S. consulate in Hong Kong, this after a newspaper published pictures of Joshua Wong, a leading pro-democracy activist with a U.S. diplomat who has been identified as Julie Eden. Ide. Beijing has called for an explanation on the reports that claim the American diplomat uh, diplomats are in contact with the protesters, saying the U.S. should stop interfering in Hong Kong's affairs. The denunciation came as the U.S. became the latest country to issue a travel alert to the territory. Meanwhile, the U.S. has also launched a strong protest after uh, personal information of its diplomat describing uh, was also leaked, describing China as a thuggish regime. A U.S. official has said that it is not how a responsible nation would behave, leaking personal information of a senior U.S. diplomat. I don't think that that leaking an American diplomat's uh, private information, pictures, names of their children, I don't think that that's a formal protest. That is what a thuggish regime would do. That's not how a responsible nation would, would behave. Um, releasing any of that personal information of an American diplomat is completely unacceptable. That's not a protest. That's what a thuggish regime does, and it's unacceptable. Well, earlier we spoke to Joshua Wong, and this is what he had to say about the meeting. Chilling effect was generated by how American diplomat was and her family was strongly blamed by pro-Beijing newspaper and media. But it also point out how crucial and critical of Hong Kong's protests. And now it's the summer of this content, and our strike must get more allies around the world to support us. She will just provide misleading narrative and ignore our voice. Finally, where the Hong Kong people can get back our right to a free election, it is not depends on Carrie Lam. It depends on the attitude of Beijing. And it's time for Beijing to modify its hardline policy to Hong Kong. Stop it.